Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Shin Megami Tensei 5. Last time we left off, we were in the Tokyo Diet Building and Tokyo after defeating Nuwa. Uh, someone mentioned in the comments that I did miss a Mimon, and yep, I actually see it up there right now. It's, uh, by this ley line. Yep, <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't even see that one. But yeah, someone mentioned that I missed a Mimon. Um, I can get the egg from the Jatayu quest, and something else? I'll, I'll have to look at the comment for the third one. But yeah, the egg, the Mimon, and something else. Oh, um, chests. <clears throat> so, I've been ignoring, like, you know, some, some of the chests, because I'm like, I can't remember if I've gotten these or not. Uh, apparently the only time the chests respawn is if it had something that you know, you, you already had, like you didn't have enough space for. Um, like usually the essences and stuff. But um, there are three chests that I missed. So I think I'll go back and hit those chests just to see what they have. Um, just to make sure I'm not missing anything important. It looks like there's just three. Well, it's not the biggest deal in the world, but uh, one of them might have something good in them. So, I, I just want to make sure they're not ones that I missed, because, you know, I could have missed one of these without realizing it. Uh, hi, Suchigumo. How you doing, friend? Yeah, because there's that one up there. I, <clears throat> I want to say I went to that one. I suppose if I got up there and it had an essence that I already had, I wonder if you can just, like, drop the essence, basically. You might be able to. So, I'll investigate that. Because if I'm going to get one, another one anyway, it doesn't super matter, I suppose. Uh, what's the deal with you? It says I haven't talked to you before, but... Fairly sure I have. Yeah, you're that Andres. I'm pretty sure I talked to that guy. Uh, let's just go re-talk to him. Hello. <clears throat> Hmm, the angels seem to be in quite a stir. Did I miss something significant? Yeah, you did. Okay, so... Yeah, I think the Mimon... Yep, right up there. And... Yeah, I have to figure out how to actually get up there to the egg. There's also some glory hiding right there. Okay. Uh... Well, let's go see if we can figure that out. Uh... There's probably like a path I didn't see or something. If I had to guess. Everybody's just waiting for me to go finish talking to them at the Tokyo Diet Building, but I'm like, nope, I'm going back into hell. It's fine. I do think I'm going to go with, like, the kind of chaos route, the against order route, just because I think it would be very, very interesting, because it's not something I ever do when I'm playing games on my own, go, like, the evil chaos route or anything like that. I always try to, and then I'm like, oh, that's too mean, I can't do that. But, uh, I think I want to try and go for it. <clears throat> we will see. Oh, is it just this path? Wow, okay, I thought this was a sheer cliff and I would just slide down it, but no, you can just walk up here. Hopefully Jatayu doesn't see me. Oh god! Okay, no, that's just him setting off from his, uh, from his home. Don't see me, don't see me. Yeah. You don't, you don't see me? Okay, we're good. Sorry, ho -Oh. oh god, ho -Oh saw me! <laughs> please, Hobo, please! <gasps> there we go. Dodged. Get wrecked, nerd. Okay, yeah, we don't want to be seen by you. That's for sure. Oh, come on, that had to get rid of your aggro. Okay, we're good. Huh. <sighs> okay, it's a little bit scary when it sees you. But wait, where is this meme on? It says it's like right over here. Okay, it's up there. Yeah, I see it. <clears throat> so we do have to get up there to get to it. I just gotta make sure you don't see me, but that's way easier said than done. Because I can't, like, I would say, oh yeah, if I get in a fight with them, it's it's whatever. I don't have to fight them, but no, they will... <clears throat> they will chase me down, I'm pretty sure. Or, well, they'll chase me down, and then I'll get into a fight with them, and then they'll kill me. And... Dying in other JRPGs isn't that big of a deal, but in this game, I go back to my previous save point, so... Oh, is that the loop you do? I thought you did a bigger loop than that. Shit. 
Well, I think I can go over here and hide. Yeah, down here. Huh. Oh, hey, there's a... Oh, I thought that was one of the statue things. Okay, well, I don't want to do that yet. Not quite yet. <clears throat> oh, no, I can get back up once I drop down. Okay. Well, that's good. I, I should have taken a closer look at the map to make sure I'd gotten all the glory and everything, too. Um, before I did that next fight. Okay, so wait, how do we get back up there? Do I just have to drop? I might just have to drop from here. Yeah, I might... Yep, okay. Well, that was a one-way drop. My bad. I'm just happy I'm getting this. Alright. Yeah, I thought, like, um, on the map looking at it, I was like, oh, one of these areas will link up to that area, probably. But no, it's just a little tiny path you could go up right here. <clears throat> Alright. Um, just stay out of the way of Jatayu. I think hiding here under the highway is a good call. And then once Jatayu flies past, I can kind of run up there, snatch the egg, and um, grab the Mimon as well. Like I said, the main thing is getting away from you without getting caught. Because if I get caught, that's bad. Oh, there's three chests up there by your nest. Okay, hold the phone. That's really good. Um, are you going to see me if I hide, like, right here? Oh, you probably are, aren't you? You're probably totally going to see me. <clears throat> Oh, oh, please. <coughs> Don't see me. Oh, God, it sees me. Okay. Well. Uh, it almost got me. No, we're good. <coughs> I'm not sure how I'm supposed to evade it. <coughs> God, my throat's been really, really fucky today. Oh, God, you see me again already? Ah, please. I don't want to die. Please, 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 I don't want to die. Just hide you, please. Wait, aren't I close to the ley line? Maybe I should just go ahead and hit up the ley line to save. So if it does catch me, I at least don't have to redo everything I've already done. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. <coughs> and now I can be a bit more risky. <coughs> without having to worry about, uh... Dying. Because my save point is just right here. You guys need to get a life, you know that? <clears throat> Following me around all day, knowing you're gonna get your ass kicked. Making your weird, annoying, screechy noises. Okay, yeah, getting up here is hard. Is there an item that, like, hides me from enemies or something? That would be very, very useful if there was. Okay, I think I need to try the thing that I did before, just not jump down. Hide over there on that kind of cliff and wait for it to fly by and then go and then go past and grab its stuff. I think that's probably what the game intends. So you're gonna loop around, you're gonna sit up there on your nest, but if I hide over here, you shouldn't see me. Or shouldn't care. And then you'll just fly right past me, right? That's what you want? <clears throat> I'll still only have a very limited window to grab all the junk and get out. You really do look like Ho-Ho. -Oh. oh my god, you see me anyway. Okay, let's just, let's just dodge. Let's just dodge. You're not getting me, nerd. You're not getting me, nerd. Uh, treasure, treasure. Okay, we're good, we're good. Egg, egg, give me egg. Chocolate drop. Okay. Oh, no. Just tie you egg. There we go. <laughs> Mimon? Mimon, the ultimate omelette can be completed. <laughs> okay. Pretty place is still dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Want to see anyway, though. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> you don't say. I like how we're both looking at it, too. We're like, oh, yeah. That's not terrifying at all. Okay. You obtained five glory. Later. Uh, okay. Return pillar, go. Oh my god, that was stressful. 
Yeah, that was stressful. I didn't even see everything we got from those things, by the way. I was I was freaking out too much. What did we get? I saw that I got like a chakra drop. Did we get anything like down here, maybe? Uh I don't see anything. Does uh doesn't seem like it does. Um, can you sort? Yeah, you can sort. Can you sort by new? No. Damn it. It always sucks when a JRPG or an RPG doesn't have, like, sort by new, so if you miss what you actually got, you can look it up. But I do have, uh, okay, you're new. The Idvaris Essence is new. <clears throat> Alright, cool. And we can analyze what? Probably the boss, right? Yep, Nua. Alright, so, yeah, that's what you were all about. A goddess that appears in Chinese mythology, recognized as one of the sovereigns, she is said to have the head of a human and the body of a serpent, and is also known to be responsible for the creation of humanity, having created them from mud. Legend tells that when one of the four pillars said to hold up the world broke, she repaired it. Furthermore, her colleague Fuxi is typically labeled as either her brother or her husband, depending on which version of the story is told. She takes the serpentine form when unleashing a portion of her power, though she's capable of far more. Okay, well why is her hair just a snake then? This supposed to be the body of a- you're supposed to be a Lamia. You're not supposed to have legs. You're supposed to be a big ol' snack lady, but instead just your hair is snack. Still a cool design, though. Alright, well there is a treasure over here. That, uh, I can make sure I got. Uh... I think this is the one I had to, like... Like, how did I actually get to- Okay, wait, this treasure chest is up there. Okay, Tsuchigumo, go away. Wait, never mind. It's the highway. It's the highway. That's how I got up there. Okay, well, I probably won't even cut that out, because that was barely anything. I realized very quickly, I'm like, oh yeah, it's the damn highway. Couldn't remember if you jumped to it from that other building, or what. I gotta say, the exploration in this game is like... Way more interesting than exploration in a lot of other JRPGs. I kind of love that about it. It has a lot going on with exploration. It's very, very fun for that reason. <clears throat> so how'd it go? Did you get the egg? And over Jedi, you egg? Yeah. Uh, ultimate omelet completed. You obtained Drake Talisman. Ooh, cool. Yeah, good. We, we, we want all the talismans we can get. Yes, ultimate omelet, here I come. Ah, uh, I bet you didn't think I was going to make it myself. I'm more than capable than I look, you know. I even got a special frying pan just for omelets. And you probably just put it over your tail, right? Do you also use your frying pan as a drying pan? Anyway, I gotta get cooking, but I'll never forget what you did for me. God, old Pokemon puns were the best. You can say what you want about four kids, but... Sometimes they made really, really shitty puns in localization changes, and sometimes their jokes were hilarious. What is this? Bicorn essence. Uh, alright, well, I'm gonna do like I said in just, uh... Let's see... Essences? Can I, like, drop these? Or is that not a thing? Doesn't look like I... Can. Okay, well, it's... Appeared... Down there now. Right? So maybe if I go hit up the ley line, use the bicorn essence... Then come back, I can- no, I think the chest already respawned. Damn it. Well, how about we just go to the World of Shadows anyway, because I need to <clears throat> spend some of my new glory and everything. Welcome. Thank you. Atheosis. Learn miracles. Alright, so... What do we want? The ally dies, talking with a demon, heal. That seems good to me. Demons begging for their lives. Two additional skills to be selected from Essences, Divine Garrison, and I could up my Mastery. I do want to get Recover Mastery, but let's do, um, Deathly Aura. You wish to learn. I want to see what happens when they beg for their lives. Like, did they offer to join me if I don't kill them? Because that would be useful. Alright, Essence Infusion. Um, Jack-O-Lantern, what do you got? Maybe you want to be infused with a Bicorn Essence. Uh, no, you have beatdown and charge. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this one, Chief. Um, I'll infuse you with it anyway. Yeah. 
just so I can get rid of it. Boom. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. How is this? Yes, I realize I am wasting this, but uh I just want to be able to clear all the treasure chests on the map. All right. So yeah, I'm just going to head back up there and grab it and cut it out so we don't have to watch that again. Oh. Okay, the chest didn't respawn. It was still just sitting down here, but I walked all the way around. Oopsie doopsie. All right, where was uh, another chest that I missed? Um, there's one over there. And I think there's one back here. Yeah, there's one like right there. I think that's like a Prada essence or something. Um, all right, let me hit up this ley line and uh, we'll go see what those things are as well. All right, so the essence up on the mountain over here by the latest uh, fount we found so far is a McCoy essence. So what skills do you have? Okay, Pulimpa, Dostoma, Zeo, and Trafuri. That was the one that guarantees escape, right? Yeah. Well, you're a good essence to have around, especially once I get the last get more skills from essences thing. Um... So I'll use you on someone, uh... I was gonna use you on Legion, so we could, uh, have even more status effects on you. So... Chance of inflicting seal, sleep, charm... Uh, yeah, we could just have all of them. Boom. Although I probably want Curse Siphon too, so... Mirage, Confusion... Honestly, out of all of these, I like Charm the least, so let's just drop that. Let's put you over Marin Karen, so you can at least have Curse Siphon, which would be another good one to have on you. How is there. This? Now you have even more status effects. Congratulations. Cool. And I think the other one in that one in that area at the beginning is like a Prada. So yeah, you. Um, hmm. You know what? I, I'm not sure which one it is, so we'll just hold off on that for Return. now. Now I'm gonna go back up to that mountain, grab the uh, McCoy essence, and then I'll meet you over where um, the essence at the very beginning of the game is, that treasure chest. We'll see what that is. I think it's a Preda. If it is, then I'll just meet you back at the fount, and we'll get rid of the Preda, and then I'll go grab it again. Oh, it's a slime essence, which I actually didn't have. So, okay, that's cool. So now we've gotten all of those treasure chests. I've also picked up quite a few of the things from these while I was running around because, hey man, that's free money. So, all right, let's go ahead and hit up the Cadaver's Hollow. I can sell all of that stuff. We have 50 Mimon now, so. I did think it was weird that it seemed like the Mimon just stopped at 49, so. Surprised I didn't be like, oh, I'm probably missing one last time. Hey, not bad. Two health essence. Stamina, strength, magic. Okay, yeah, this is the essence pack, or incense pack that they were talking about. I've got another reward to keep those eyes peeled. Well, luckily, there's someone that just tells me where they're all at. So, see you, Gustav. So, wait, in... Wait, okay, so essence was what we put into our demons. No, incense is what we put into our demons. I think, like, supplement or something is what we actually use on the Nahabino. Like, I don't have any of those, right? I've only gotten one of those things, like, once. Yeah. So we just have a bunch of incenses for our various demons. Okay. <clears throat> just wanted to be sure. Well, now we can go back... And yeah, the treasure chest was the third thing that the commenter said. So it was the egg, the Mimon, and the treasure chest. So we've done all of that now. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to Tokyo. And we're going to see what's going on in the real world. Uh, sh should I save? Will there be a boss fight in the real world? Let's, let you know. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past this game. So let's just save. Because this game has put the fear in me. All right, so the diet building, or do I want to go here? Diet building is different, so let's just go here, because this is actually Tokyo. 
Because I think the Tokyo Diet building is still in the demon world. <clears throat> Alright, we're back in our cool little school outfit. Look at us. With the flowers and everything. It's weird to see human quasi again. Been seeing, uh... Nahabino version you so much. So I had to go to the meeting room where Tao was waiting. Yeah, and last time we got kind of yelled at by the Angels of Bethel because they're like, What? You don't like order? You don't masturbate at the thought of order? So... <clears throat> now, where do I start? I guess I should start with me. To put it plainly, I've had spiritual powers ever since I was little. Everyone at Bethel calls me the Saint. Bethel Japan lost a lot of its strength in a battle many years ago. So these days, even students like me are helping out. It's the same for me too. But never mind that. Is Tokyo still okay? Not long ago, we were in what looked like ruins, and they were crawling with demons. It was almost as if the city had been destroyed. If I told you the Tokyo you'd been living in this whole time was a lie, would you believe me? Given the history of this game, yeah. Also, it is going to piss me off to no end that this eye does not fix, fix his pants leg. It, it, it annoys the hell out of me. I'm like, dude, don't you feel like the breeze on one leg and not the breeze on the other leg and like air? I, I don't know. It, it would annoy me. Huh? 18 years ago, something happened in the Chiyoda Ward of Tokyo that suddenly erased the city from the rest of Japan. Its population of over 10 million people was wiped out in a matter of minutes, lost to the netherworld. What are you talking about, Isonokami? We've been living in Tokyo as far as I can tell. You want to try explaining that? The Tokyo you're referring to is an act of God. Through his miracle, Tokyo and its people were perfectly recreated. No one suspected a thing. You mean everything up until now? It's all been fake? As I said, the real Tokyo was destroyed 18 years ago. You saw it when you slipped into the netherworld. That's impossible. The real Tokyo has been completely overrun by demons. As if one Tokyo wasn't enough, the demons now covet the other, and all for our souls. Though we are few, that is what the Bethel Japanese branch fights to protect. I hope the saint has cleared things up for you. Apologies for dragging you into this. Hey, uh... Haven't I seen you somewhere before? My name is Koshimizu. I'm in charge here, in addition to being Japan's Prime Minister. Uh-huh. Hello, Prime Minister. Wait, as in Director Koshimizu? One of the top-ranking officials in the Japanese branch? He and the Prime Minister are the same person? Indeed. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Atsuta. Now that you've been made aware of what happened to the real Tokyo, it's best I enlighten you as to the true state of the world. To put it plainly, the forces of order and chaos are currently clashing behind the scenes, locked in an ongoing battle unbeknownst to mankind. Demons seek human souls. If given the chance, they would flood the real world in an instant. They are extremely dangerous. That's why Bethel Japan is dedicated to protecting Tokyo and keeping the demons at bay. The demons are relentless, however, and the unfortunate truth of the matter is that we're woefully lacking in manpower. In fact, Bethel's strength is so short of the mark, we've been forced to rely on students such as Isonokami and Atsuta for help. No way! Is that something I could help with too, Mr. Prime Minister? You mean protecting Tokyo? Yeah! I'll do whatever I can! Does I? Look, I'm borderline useless at school, and I'm always making trouble for other people. But even a guy like me wants to be someone people can turn to. 
just like the honor students. Thank you. I admire your courage. I've heard about you, so you fused with Algami, is that it? <laughs> I'll be asking for your cooperation as well. Sorry, but I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> I like how Koshimizu was like, because I was like, I want to help too. I want to be someone people can look up to. And Koshimizu was like, that's cute. And then he immediately just looked to me and was like, I've heard about you. Poor Desai. Heard about you, so you fused with Algami, is that it? I'll be asking for your cooperation as well. Sorry, but I won't take no for an answer. I really want to do the chaos route in this, but I'm scared my I'm gonna I'm gonna wimp out again and be like, ah, but no, but I kinda wanna see what happens in the chaos route, to be completely honest. I mean it's basically going to be the bad end of the game, I'm assuming, if I'm understanding how the route system works, which Don't explain it to me, because I don't wanna know. I wanna be surprised when it happens, but I'm thinking if I go with the chaos route, then the real world may just be totally overrun by demons and it's just every man for himself, survival of the fittest kind of thing. But, I don't know. I also really don't like Bethel's angels and everything, so I'm just like, eh, we'll see. I'll work with you though, that's fine. Good to see you're on our side. Eh. I'm thankful the proto-fiend returned safely, though I've never heard of it fusing with a human before. I played a role in Algami's creation myself. I'll be running a variety of tests later. Algami, I'd like to examine your memory data. Make your way to the research facility later today. Understood. I'll visit with the rest of you some other time. For now, I want you to go home and get some rest. Sir! And lastly, Yuzuru Atsuta. Well done in coming back unharmed. Your summoning skills must have improved. I'll be sure to grant you an even stronger demon companion next time. Thank you, sir. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, now we're hanging out here. Yeah, I think I still want to go the kind of chaos route. I wonder if there's a way to... I don't know. That would be cool, though. If there wasn't a way to kind of see my alignment in my character, kind of like how Fable does it. Um, a lot of other games do it. Like, they kind of subtly and sometimes not so subtly change your appearance. Um, I wonder if that's a way to tell which alignment you're on. It would be kind of cool to see that. If that was something that could happen, because it, it doesn't seem to be a meter or anything in the menu. It's probably a mechanic they don't intend for most people to know, except for well, most newcomers to know. And only people that have played it before really realize that there's even an alignment system at all, but... I haven't really looked at any of the marketing or advertising material for the game, so maybe they mentioned it there that's like, Choose your own path, your choices matter, order or chaos. I should apologize for hiding the fact that I was involved with Bethel. I didn't want to get you involved. But I also didn't think the situation would become as dire as it is now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dude, I get to protect Tokyo? How cool is that? Maybe if you fix your pants leg, man. I'm gonna be fighting alongside all those big names at school! Me? A big reason I don't do all that well in school is because... Honestly, I'm just not very confident in myself. Even though my parents aren't divorced, they really don't get along. So I guess I've always just been looking for a way to fix things. But if I side with my dad, my mom gets all pissed. And it's the same for my old man if I ever side with my mom. I don't know what's right anymore. I feel like this is a, uh, <clears throat> this is a jab, a jab at siding with order or chaos. It's like, yeah, if you side with one, the other one's gonna get pissed off. I don't know which one's right anymore. Protecting Tokyo from demons, though? That's gotta be a good thing. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah, definitely. I'm not totally gonna side with the demons. Look at me. Does that look like the face of someone that would side with demons? No. I'm glad we're both alright. Let's work together to keep Tokyo safe. Alright. We should probably <laughs> head back. We've got school tomorrow. All right, so are, are we actually going to go to school and shit now, or is it just going to be a very brief trip to school and then we go back into the demon world? Because I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have any social sim aspects like Persona has. We're not, we're not going to get our stats up. 
kind of intimidating just to be here on the real world with real people and my demons are just hanging out there. Like, could I just throw a fireball at somebody right now? <clears throat> well, I'm not fused with Algami, so I couldn't, but my demons maybe could if I could summon them. So is this all just a simulation, or...? They said it was created by God's power or whatever, so... I'm assuming this is all just a fabrication. Like, maybe he remade the world, like, or not the world, but Tokyo completely? I don't know. <laughs> Morning, yesterday was a mess, huh? Really am glad you're okay after all that. Okay, stretching it. Hmm, mm, yeah, I know what you mean. That was a lot to deal with, huh? All this stuff about demons and gods and weird supernatural conflict, I feel a little overloaded too. But all these gods across the world are working together to keep the peace. All these gods across the world. So is that what Bethel is? Is Bethel all kinds of gods? I thought it was, quite frankly, just the, like, Christian gods. That's what it seems like. Let's keep what happened yesterday a secret, okay? For now, we can just get back to being plain old high school students. See ya! Anyway, I'll see you around. Yeah, I'm wondering exactly how the this fabrication of Tokyo works. Like, did he just basically make a new Tokyo in, in the quote-unquote real world, but... Our old version of Tokyo is the thing that's in the netherworld now and is destroyed, or are we just living in, like, a fabrication dream right now? Like, basically, can we contact other people, or is Tokyo basically just, like, a thing of its own now? I imagine people would be freaking out a little bit more if you just couldn't leave Tokyo for some unbeknownst reason. Uh... I got this friend of a friend, and he saw what looked like a tiny human flying through the air. <sighs> uh, yeah, right. Friend of a friend always sounds pretty sketchy to me. Tiny human. It was a pixie. Hello. <sighs> Bullying, huh? You can't count on the school or the teachers to help. Nope, never. Your only choice is to gather proof through a voice recording or something like that to defend yourself. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was clipping into your skirt, ma'am. <laughs> wow, this must be really uncomfortable <laughs> for you. I'm just clipping through your body, okay. Uh, is this uncomfortable? I have become you. Algami, I don't need you. I fused with someone else. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Move. Alright, what do we what do we got going on in school? Am I gonna have to ace a math test? Is Kawakami here? I hope Kawakami's here. Kawakami's cool. <sighs> First year on the track team went missing last week. They didn't show up at the dorm either. Hmm. Hopefully they just ran away from home. Or I guess that's not really good either, huh? Yeah, that's not really a good thing either. Yeah, you guys with your low frame rate walk is funny. They're doing the thing where in, where things that are further away from you, where things that don't particularly matter, the environment just run at a lower frame rate so the game actually runs. Because yeah, once I get close to you, you look fine. But once you're far away, it's like... Dit, 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 dit. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. My day doesn't start until I've had a carton of coffee milk. Okay. I don't know. Like, people put milk in their coffee all the time, but hearing it described like that is like, Bleh. Oh, hey, you're an important character. Ugh, I can't stand her. How long do you think until she cracks? <laughs> I can't wait to see her break down in tears. Sohori Itsu... Itsukishima. Itsukishima. I can't take this anymore. Why me? Why is this happening? It's all their fault. I wish they'd all just disappear. <laughs> what? Who's there? Oh yeah, you know, when you're just hanging out in your school and you're like, man, I wish those bullies would disappear and like, Satan whispers in your ear, you seek power. <laughs> oh god, no. Satan, please. Slash Lucifer. Slash some other demon. Uh... There was some nasty bullying happening on the girls' cross team. Like the girl ended up quitting, but I wonder if the bullying is still going on. Pretty scary thought, huh? Ugh. 
That sucks, man. Bullying in school is awful. Hey, it's you. You're adorable. Hi. Hey. Well, Taguya, my brother told me what happened yesterday. Hal returned after that, so we went back together. Thank you for helping my brother. Wait, do you know about Bethel and everything, or are you still in the dark about that? Also, man, you must get cold really easily because you're like all kitted up for winter, but I don't really see anybody else dressed like that. Huh. Well, I like you. Girls with glasses are always the cutest. Um. Um, Teguya, hope you and my brother can keep getting along. He's serious and more stubborn than most, and he's known for being pretty inflexible, too. Everyone thinks he's annoying, so he doesn't have many friends. But he's looked out for me for as long as I can remember, especially with me not being very strong and everything. He's a really caring person deep down. I am... really, I can't do anything without my brother, so I have no choice but to rely on him. Uh-huh. Wow, you have even more stuff to oh, say. Right. You know, talking with Tao reminded me of the strange dream I had when I was little. A prince from another country came specifically for me. It was kind of embarrassing, to be honest. Oh, but the prince wasn't riding the typical white horse and all that. He sailed a boat through the night sky. Strange, huh? Is that supposed to be a reference to some kind of mythological story or something? I, I don't particularly recognize it, but... Sounds like it definitely could be. <laughs> to you, thank you for yesterday. Okay, there you go. You're done. You're adorable. I like you. Hello. You know what? Government and the JSDF are working together to develop a program that summons demons. That's the rumor going around. It'd be interesting if I could get a program like that for occult research purposes. Wow, people just know. <laughs> okay, that feels dangerous. <sighs> Morning practice was killer. We've got a match coming up soon. We're up against a team that has a medalist for a coach. Hope we can at least put up a fight. I like the, like, even the gym outfits have, like, flowers and stuff on them. It's like, these these uniforms for school are way too cool to be actual school, uni school uniforms. No school has uniforms this cool. It reminds me of the Persona 5 uniforms, where it's like, this awesome red and black checkerboard thing. It's like, no, no school has stuff that Morning, cool. Morning, man. Nice being back home again, huh? Me? I stayed in Bethel. Got this big lecture about how this demon summoning stuff works. And the Bethel guys even said I've got this natural talent for it. <laughs> Can you believe that? I'm a demon summoner! Wow, just yell that out, just like Ryuji saying, We're the Phantom Thieves! That means I can protect people. Like a real hero. So, I'm gonna give this all I got. Anyhow, sorry to bug you. <laughs> See ya! You're like a mixture of Ryuji and, um, I forget the name of the character. He's like the one that, like, runs the fan site in Persona 5. Mishima, I think his name was? Yeah, you're like a mixture of those two. Yeah. Morning, Taguya. Great. First year classrooms are on the top floor. Way to make me commute, oh, guys. You know. You're third year, so your classroom's on the second floor, right? Oh man, you're in class 3A too, so you get to, so you're right next to the stairs, lucky. Uh, must be nice to have your classroom so close by. Oh, there's a lot of people to talk to. Hi, I'm gonna run through the halls like a lunatic. Alright, no, I just wanna go in here. What we got? Anything special? Is there is there an Algami essence hiding in the nurse's office? I wish. I don't know if we're even gonna be able to find anything important in the real world. But I'm still gonna explore anyway, because that's just how I play games. Hmm. So, is there a video up about monsters in Takanawa Tunnel? No. Oh, guess Ichiro lied again. <sighs> you know he said he'd do it himself, huh? Well, it's not like he'd answer... He's never half-assed something before, so I'm not surprised. Uh... Other news, they're saying the train is late again. Well, I'll probably be back when school's over. Imagine Bethel told him, Yeah, maybe don't put a video of this stuff up. <clears throat> <sighs> you know how our school attracts a lot of applicants from all over the country? Well, the guy in the next class over, Ichiro, I think? That idiot got in on a recommendation, too, so who knows how the screening process works. You guys are dicks, man. And especially so now that we know that Ichiro has, like, shit going on at home. It makes it even worse that everybody's like, Wow, what a dumbass. We're an elite school of elites. <sighs> Why? Why is this happening to me? What did I do to deserve this? What? Uh, who are you? What do you want from me? Your eyes don't look like they have pupils right now because your pupils are like pink or whatever. You look very angry. Look, I don't have anything to say to you. Just leave me alone. Oh, and yeah, you don't have the uniform on because you're not on the lacrosse team anymore. And there doesn't appear to be anybody down here, right? Hello? Nope. 
There's a whole lot of nothing. Oh, I thought that was an item because it, <laughs> it was glowing. <coughs> oh my god. My throat's been really messing with me today. I've had a... God, I don't know. I, I, I guess I need a cough drop or something, but that'll have to wait. Alright, into class we go. Time to ace this math test and get a bunch of uh, smarts. Get some intelligence level ups. All rise. Good morning, sir. God, me in class, just staring okay. out the window. That's it for today. All rise. Thank you, sir. Man, I've been through high school and college already, and I only want to go back to high to college, not high school. Screw high school. Shit sucked. College was way better. <clears throat> but yeah, just the sitting in the desk and just staring out the window, waiting for the time to pass. God, I relate so much. <sighs> You're so lucky. You get to be friends with Tal, the school idol. Okay, man. What, whatever, be weird, I guess. <laughs> Yo. You hear a famous person in the next class over, who comes to mind? You think of the top student in our school, or do you think of the no-name loser on the other end of the spectrum? Speaking of that loser, he sure wasn't in a good mood today. Does this video take off or something? Nah, no freaking way. The school idol. What a weird position to put somebody in. What's up? Oh, hey. Hello? Look, can I talk to you about something? Not right now, just when you've got time. Sure, I'll listen. Thanks. <clears throat> but I can't really talk about it at school. Maybe on the dorm roof later tonight. See you then. Oh god, everybody's gonna be talking because they're gonna see me talking to Tal. They're gonna be like, oh man, he's with the school idol. School idol is such a weird concept anyway. Oh, you know. You sure I give up on the whole content creation thing and pick up something else? You wouldn't tell me anything when I asked. You sure look smug, though. Okay. So... Dorm roof is where I'm supposed to go. Oh god, there's so many people to talk to. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Hey, you wanna stop by somewhere uh, on the way back? Mm, yeah, let me check if there's anything interesting going so... on. Man, you're always messing with your phone. You got an addiction? Uh. Shut up. Oh, hey, this looks cool. God. All right, so you do your thing. Yeah. Hey there, Taguya. Uh, Honestly, why'd they have to put the dorm so far away? We gotta go from the east exit of the train station, then walk all the way to the coast. Cause that's just how it is in the city. That does sound like a pretty long walk to have, like after school. that not feeling well today let's ask about you not feeling well today oh no nothing's wrong with me itsukishima was hurt so i just wanted to help a little the nurse is out for the day so i just did what i could look um do you know how itsukishima's been getting these injuries i don't know how to say this but those bruises couldn't all be accidents. I wish I could help. I hope she's okay. Man, our main character's expression never changes. <laughs> Just always this, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Stalwart sort of... I don't know. You have a good poker face, let's just say that. You should definitely go play some poker. I wish I could help. I hope she's okay. You're really wholesome, Miyazu. Alright. Just want to help people out. Alright, so... Let's keep running this way. 
down here. Hello. <sighs> Practice is canceled, huh? I don't want to head back to the dorm either. Nothing to do by the station either. So my choices are either check the theater at the Princess Hotel or go all the way back to Shibuya. <clears throat> yeah, you know, there's not much going on here. Seems like a smaller town. You know what? Well, wait. I said it seems like a smaller town, but we're in Tokyo. <laughs> Okay, I'm an idiot. I, I don't know. I was thinking of like, for some reason, like being in this school makes me think of it being like a small town, like kind of what P4 takes place in. But no, we're in Tokyo. There's not more to do in Tokyo than just go to the theater or head back to Shibuya. Priests, ascetics, monks, Miko Mudong. The government is gathering a team of people with spiritual powers. That's the rumor going around. That's so wrong. If they want an expert in the occult, they should just ask me. Yeah, well, they probably don't want you because probably side with the demons or something you know they definitely don't want anybody that would side with demons <sighs> Oof! I just saw someone some bullying take place someone got shoved to the ground and skinned their knee they went to the infirmary afterwards but man that was messed up okay so you're you're gonna make a girl like god you're gonna you're gonna make her bring a demon to school all right stop this before you get incinerated by a, a jack-o'-lantern. Hello. Yesterday was you. eventful, oh. wasn't it? Sorry, I didn't know I you were voice Dazai acting that. I how to summon demons afterwards. He picked it up fast, and Bethel certainly isn't complaining. Yeah, you guys are playing on hard mode. You don't even have, like, abilities like I do. You just use the demons. I just don't know if it was right. <clears throat> He was an ordinary student with an ordinary life, and now I've drawn him into this conflict. He's a soldier in this war now. I chose to fight of my own volition. But Dazai, not just him, I dragged you into this as well. If I'd been more capable, more powerful, maybe I could have handled this on my own. Yeah, well, I'm stronger than you, so... But if I want to be stronger, I'll have to do my part on the front lines. Especially now that we have new power on our side. Let's both keep at it. We'll make sure Tokyo stays safe. Yes, we will. I gotta say, after... I, I've been considering... I'm having such a fun time playing this. I actually almost bought a Nocturne the other day. Because I was like, oh my god, I want to play Shin Megami Tensei Five, But I can't. So I was like, ooh, what if I bought Nocturne and just played it on my own time in between episodes? <laughs> Because, oh my god, I love it. It's so much fun. <sighs> Has occult research been getting popular again recently? You hear all this talk about monsters or ghosts appearing in tunnels and stuff. I don't really want to believe any of it, but a lot of the students say they've actually seen them. What? Store is closed? No, I wanted to get some strawberry milk. Oh man, me too. I love strawberry milk. Hello. Mm. It reminds me, did you hear about that accident with the tunnel yeah. collapsing? Yeah, I heard a student from our school got caught in it. Sounds like they weren't hurt too bad. Yeah. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> we gotta get back to the dorms and talk to Tao. But there's always more conversations to have. <sighs> people were saying the world would end or something 20 years ago too. I guess there'll always be some people saying depressing stuff like that, no matter how times change. Oh yeah, I remember the Aztec calendar stuff. Stuff is nuts. 2012. That was the year I graduated. Everybody was freaking out. Hey. From high school, that is. I got this friend of a friend, and he said he saw this tanned, muscular monk at Jo Zoji. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about the fact that Goko was in there. I'm getting, maybe Goko's employed by Bethel too. They did say they were getting monks and stuff. <coughs> a muscular monk sounds like something out of a fighting game. Yeah, exactly. When, uh, Goku in, uh, Street Fighter win. Or Mortal Kombat. I'm sure Shang Tsung wouldn't mind. Yo! Hey, do you know Sahori, uh, Sayori Itsukishima? God, I gotta get used to that name. It's like three syllables. I just passed her, but she looked really down. Something's really getting to her. <laughs> she always seems so strong and gorgeous, too. Honestly, I kind of looked up to her. Uh, not that she'd ever notice a guy like me. <sighs> So, seeing her like this now is killing me. I want to help her, but I'm just some nobody. Ichiro, man, you gotta... You gotta, you gotta cheer up, man. Like, I'm not, I'm not... Like, I don't know. 
You, you really gotta, you really gotta work on your self-esteem here. You're better than that, man. You don't, you don't have to be down on yourself all the time. I know it's hard, though. Especially without medication, so maybe get some medication or talk to somebody, because, uh... Yeah, you're down on yourself a whole lot. Alright, uh... Where are we going? This way? This way. Alright. Oh yeah, back to this map. Oh jeez, we haven't been here in a while. This kind of reminds me of the map from what I remember of like when you're actually in Tokyo. In um, SMT4. At least I think it was Tokyo. Like you move around the world map like this basically. But it's the demon world. Huh? There's been a cave-in accident at that tunnel. Are the trains still running? Oh, the tunnel. And that tunnel was dangerous. The ceiling suddenly collapsed. I think a student got caught in it too. Immediately called for a rescue team. So glad his injuries, whoops. I mean, the press A there. Weren't so bad, I think is what it said. Or something to that effect. The sentence said there were still two or three other people in the tunnel. But they didn't find anyone else. I hope they're safe. Oh, man. There's another person to talk to back here. Big Angel Beats feeling coming from this. Hey, a Juin uniform. A lot of high schools around here, but I've never actually talked to Juin students before. Dorm and station are in the other direction, so don't come this... So I don't come this way often. Well, if you got time, wanna hang out and talk? <clears throat> no, I got places to be, friend. Demon appearances have been on the rise lately, so our special unit's on high alert. We do have civilians cooperating with Bethel as well, though not many. It includes people like you who can perceive demons. Okay, so you know about it. You're just in the know on this whole thing. Company just moved to around this area. Sangin was great, but I could get used to this city. Alright, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to explore here. Uh, another character over here. Japanese coastal places tend to have English words in their names, like Isle and Gateway. Interesting, I never knew that. That's weird. Alright. The wreck line from here to the dorm is pretty far away. It's so tiring. Well, I want to go see what was going on in the tunnel, if it'll let me. Uh, I don't want to go there. Trying to make my way back around here. I keep getting stuck on the edges while trying to traverse this. Oh, hey, haven't talked to you. Monsters invading from another world. Are they serious with this conspiracy theory bullshit? Maybe next time go with the bioterrorist angle, guys. At least that one's rooted in reality. I mean, monsters? Who do they think they're selling on this? Honestly, I'd love to see some proof. Show me a monster I can pet. Uh, well, there's that cute fox cupid demon that told me where all the Mimon were. It, it seems pretty pettable. Or Amanazako could give her head pats. I'm not sure if she'd like that very much. Uh, yeah, I've talked to you two. So it's just you guys over here. Yee ho! Can you see me, ho? I fell into this dimensional chasm and ended up in this big old city, ho! Wow, it's a uh, Jack Frost, I think. There are humans everywhere. It's terrifying, ho. I want to go home to my Tokyo. Wow, you're just here. Okay, is that why this world map is so, like, similar to the one in SMT4? Is this world going to be taken over by demons at some point, too, and I'm going to be traversing it like this in my Nahabina form? You know, there's a renowned research lab nearby. Oh, and the hospital attached to it is equally illustrious. I've heard the Prime Minister has been visiting the place quite often recently. You don't think he's sick, do you? I hope he's alright. Man, there's so many characters. Oh my god, they're everywhere! We've been dispatched to clean up the t tunnel accident. Don't worry, we'll handle this. Oh, you're with Bethel too? Then I might as well be transparent about it. We stationed up, we're stationed up here to put down the demonic intruders. Special Defense Force doesn't ordinarily get assigned this kind of thing. Hopefully the locals won't ask too many questions. Yeah, there's a Jack Frost, like, right down there. You should probably go take care of that. Before he casts a buffoo on somebody. <clears throat> this bathhouse is actually built on a hot spring. First step on my daily routines, dropping by so I can be first in the water. Just seeing this hill in Minato makes me want to run up to it. Yeah. Alright, come on guys, there's so many of you. But I want to talk to all of you because I don't want to miss anything. Ugh, covering another murder scene? How many is this now? Is it a demon murder? Probably. Hide names, what does that mean? Show names? Weird. Oh, probably for the places. Sometimes the Prime Minister seems too good to be true. They say public servants only really serve themselves, but I don't know if that's it either. 
Well, anyway, I'll be asking those important questions and digging deeper into that on the Sunday morning talk show. Famous pundit. Pundit? What is that? Like a, I don't know, talk show host? Maybe somebody that, like a journalist or somebody that gets scoops? At the radio tower? My pop used to always brag about how he was the fellow who painted the top of Tokyo Tower. He's long since passed away, but we had a window in our house where you could see the far off tower. He was just looking smile. Huh, I wonder how accurate this is to, like, actually Tokyo. Like, could you, could you actually put road names to this map? It's interesting, and like, 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 is this a important building that it, you know, if you knew of Tokyo or from Tokyo would be able to recognize and stuff? Probably. Huh. That's really, really cool if so. If it's like an actually accurate map. Zoji is an important barrier protecting Tokyo. I remember an article about it in Ayakashi Monthly. Here she go pay some respects. <clears throat> Alright, so now I think we're good. We should try going in the tunnel just to see what happens. Oh no. Okay, we can just go in it. I thought there was a collapse though? Alright, whatever. Well, I think I've spoken to everyone now. Yeah, we're good. I may have missed like one or two, but it's not the biggest deal, but I want to see as much as I can. I promised how you'd meet her, you should head to the roof. I really need to get to a save point though, because this video is already an hour, but... I guess I could have went back to the lab and saved, but maybe we'll get a save point soon here. Hey there, thanks for coming. I at least cut a few minutes out when I was grabbing all that stuff at the beginning. Is this about Sehori Itsukishima? What? How'd you know? Yeah. I'm worried about her. Sehori's a friend. Well, my best friend, really. It's just... I think she's being bullied. Oh, I've been calling you Sayori, but it's like, Sehori. You actually do say the H. <clears throat> We used to be in lacrosse together. She was such a great player. But she had to quit last year after a big accident. And that's when all this started. Who's responsible? The old club members. They really resented her. This kind of reminds me of the thing that went on with uh, An's friend in P5. I forget her name. You know, without the weird rapey teacher things going on. A few people quit because Sahori's training regimen was just too much for them. She just wanted to make sure we were the best team we could be. You think there's anything I can do to help? Probably talk her down from using a demon. I'd say stay with her. Having two people together, especially since apparently you have so much pull in this school as the designated idol. It would probably be a good idea just to have someone with her. You know, traveling, traveling, uh, couples and twos and groups and everything. I know, but she's been avoiding me. Oh, okay, well, yeah, no, that's a problem. Still, that's no reason to give up. I'll talk to her again tomorrow. Thanks for hearing me out. I know things are crazy in Tokyo right now, but... That's also why we need to fix these human problems, too. I'm glad we got to talk. Okay, night. Cool, cool. Save pointo. Nope. <clears throat> Commence. Compiling data on the proto fiend. Previously undiscovered data located. Analyzing. Analysis complete. Looks like we are picking up traces of our target. The corrupted areas have also been properly restored. Rebooting Algama.
The blasphemous might of the Nahobino. I don't know where this power came from, but I trust you'll come to our aid, brother. Hmm. All right. And you said brother. Is that like legit? Is Algami seriously your brother and you guys made him into this proto fiend or what? Or are you just calling me a brother as like a comrade? <clears throat> Hey, are you there? I just got word from the director. Demons are showing up all over Tokyo. We've deployed people throughout the city. I've been tasked with guarding the school. It sounds like he wants you over at Jozoji Temple. It's vital to our defenses. Algami's ready for action and on his way. Get over there as soon as you can. Okay, so we will be fighting demons in the real world. Can we actually return into our Nahabino form here? Okay, yeah, cool. So this is just like uh, an SMT4. Neat, neat, neat. Okay, I like this. There's a new character to hit up over here. You say, I've already talked to you, but you... Oh, no, you're not new. Okay, no, I've already talked to all of you then. So the temple, where was that at? Exactly. Wasn't it down here? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Sorry, the Jozoji is currently off limits too. Oh, you're with Bethel. You've been briefed on your assignment. Head on through. Oh, it sounds like dire the circumstances indeed. I can see things have escalated in my absence. Sounds like the garbage is being emptied outside. So if you hear any loud bangs, it's because a big truck is basically picking up my dumpster and emptying it. Uh, dire circumstances indeed. I can see things have escalated. What a mess. I assuredly understand how you see it that way. However, make no mistake. We are fighting to protect your home. So I intend to do everything I can to assist you. Then let us make our way to Jozoji. However, before we set out, I'm detecting the presence of a powerful demon in that direction. I advise we prepare before proceeding any further. Okay. Well, not going that way. Um, I guess I can get back to the place and save there. Yeah, the the medical research lab, right? Can't I go here and hit up the uh, thing to save? Because I think we're going to want to do that because I don't... Yeah. All right. We can talk to you guys, though. Hmm. Hey, nice VR headset. Has this demon attacked the Tokyo Diet Building in the Netherworld? It sounds like she was even working with a human ally. Who are they? What the hell's going on? Bethel Japan's short on numbers these days. Can't do much to fight back. If this place gets targeted, we're finished. You should be careful too. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the Prime Minister seems like... I don't know, they're into some shit slash kind of an asshole too, so... Yes? You wanna know if it's common for the Prime Minister to be Bethel's director? Hahaha, <laughs> no, God no. Prime Minister's already got mountains of work to deal with. It'd take a bureaucratic superhuman to keep up with both workloads, but Koshimu Koshimizu's just that good. Cool. Have a second? This whole mess started 18 years ago, back when the netherworld we called Dot first appeared in Tokyo. It was just nonstop carnage in those early days. We lost Japan's myriad gods in that war against the demonic hordes. That's when Bethel HQ stepped in. Director Koshimizu's handled things well, startlingly well considering he's also the Prime Minister, but without him, HQ would have taken us over long ago. Alright. <clears throat> and you. Sure, Archangel Abdiel is one of HQ's finest soldiers, but honestly, everyone at the Japan Fringe is pretty sick of her by now. Since it seems like neither this- since it seems like this netherworld's origin point is in Tokyo, I guess it makes sense that the Champion of Armageddon would stay close by. She's been trying to push us around a lot more lately, telling us how we should do things her way instead of the way she, we've always done it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't like Abdiel, that's what I said. Alright, let's examine this so we can go ahead and save. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Shin Megami Tensei 5, and I'll see you next time.